Hello, I'm Tanya Hennessy, and this is a hot woman I met on the street, Sarah Laidlaw, and today we are doing something really exciting. We're showing the real techniques artist set. It's for artists, but it's for normals as well. And we're gonna show you a look with the artist essentials brushes from Real Techniques. Okay, so this little guy here Junkie. is a multi-use brush. You see it's kind of got that point, so you can use it for contour. You can use it for foundation, you can use it for cream blush, you can use it under the eye for concealer. Like it's multi, multi-use. So let's do contour with it. Yes, great. Can you please turn my two chins into one chin? Just get, you can see that there's a tiny bit of product on there. And come in to the contour. You can see that is such a skinny, skinny line. And then blending it out with the flat part so that it looks like a little shadow. How good. Look at that little shadow. I look like I've lost 15 kilos. So I'm just using the tiny point so that you have a minimal amount of product. I'm gonna come and give you this wonderful sharp jawline by creating that little sharp shadow. Yeah, that we're, we're definitely not stopping eating donuts. Australian light's very bright. So what looks good in your soft bathroom mirror light? Sometimes you go out in a straight in daylight and you look like you've got a like. Girl, I've learned brown that the stripe. hard way. And always go to the window and check in natural light. But also blend, 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 blend. So we're gonna use this little guy, which is called the soft accent brush. And see, it's like a little, like a doe foot kind of shape. So it's kind of flat. It looks like a cat, a kitten's foot. Yeah, it's really cute. And this is just a little cream blush. So we're gonna just tap a little bit onto it. And I often just test it on my hand just to make sure and let it blend. And then, again, don't do the smile. Oh, I'll just look Yeah. Depressed. So if you smile, your, your cheek colour might end up down here. So I'm going to just pat it in. So nice on you. I'm not dragging. I'm kind of like, you can do little circles to blend, but I'm kind of stippling it. I think and that's so one thing not... I've learned from you is that you don't drag ever. Well, because you've just put beautiful foundation on, if you're pulling across the skin, depending on what you've got underneath it, sometimes you can pull the foundation off. So if you're just adding on top and just kind of placing another layer over the top, and then you can do a little soft blend, that way you don't displace your foundation. You leave it there being all gorgeous. But you make it look like... Yeah, but you can too, because this will blend it for you. It's just, you can feel that. Like, essentially, I'm starting under the out outer corner of your eye. Yeah. And just going to do 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 around, and then just letting the whatever's left on the brush go slightly up the cheekbone. I mean, there's no real rule for blush. If you like it somewhere, put it somewhere. You know, it just is so easy. Like, that's done. Is that why the artist essentials set is slightly different to the everyday set because this feels like an it's just stepping it up a little okay yeah i feel like for me i feel like it's the people who are a little bit you know like okay i've mastered my everyday look now what else what can next? i do okay yeah. okay it's, it's the pope come on evolution yeah yes like i love this and i think it would be really cute with a little bit of a highlight Yes, and you know, okay. I never I never got into highlight until recently. There's so many brushes you can use for highlight. Like, you could use that brush with what you just used, but I love using a fan brush. Tell me why, I'll and in great why. detail. I'll tell you why. Okay, because look, look at the shape of it, and how wide those bristles are and evenly spaced. Like, they're really soft. Mm. And so again, just getting the, the tips of the bristles, and then, if you turn that way, you can just see the light hitting you. And it just gives you, I'm gonna go up here, a gleam. I'm just going along the top of that cheekbone. And when you put a lot of pressure on bristles, they spread. So you don't want it to spread too far. Really light. You wanna be light. Ding, ding, ding. Just a little okay. tickle across the cheekbone. And if you turn it slightly on its side, you get a wider blend. <gasps> so you can go super thin by using it straight, slightly tilted, 
and you get a blend. And with what's left on the brush, snoop, just down the bridge of the nose. The other thing I love this for is if you've done eyeshadow and you know how sometimes you get a little bit of fallout of powder and you yes. think, damn it. I actually love, so a clean one, you don't want to use it with highlight on it, but a clean brush into a loose powder, just a little bit, and you can just flick that powder out. So you get rid of the fallout without, like I feel like a cotton tip pushes it into the foundation. Yep. Whereas this, yes, you've does. got that and you use it very light handedly. So you feel it just, just flick across. Okay, so a really easy way to use colour is in an eyeliner that then you can smudge out and it's really simple. I just don't like doing smudge. a full coloured eye. Oh, smudge. Okay. This little guy, that little chisel brush. I have this brush at home. It's called a smudge liner. I've never for a used reason. it for a smudge liner. So you can use it to do eyeliner and do a nice clean liner. But it's great for smudging. That's why it's called the smudge liner. I've been using it as a brow brush. I also will use it for that. Okay, good. I love it as a brow brush. So we're just working an eyeliner onto the eye, right against the lash line, so you can feel where that's going. And then I'm using this little flat brush just to blend it, smudge it, smudge the edge of it, smudges it. So the reason I'm doing one eye at a time is especially if you, oh, you're cute. Oh, she's cute. Show me, show me. Oh. Or oh, smash the, the mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so fun. Isn't it cute? So, flash of colour without being difficult. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Keep going this way. Yeah, a little bit further into the inner corner. That's it. Okay, now, before you think too much about it, too late. smudge it with this. So, you're just gently going to... You hold your eye still, I think. It'll make it easier for you to control. Just go slowly. Make sure that that eyeliner is smudged down to the lash line. Don't go up too high. Okay. Yep, that's it. Just stay in line with it and it will blend itself. See that? That's sick. Right? So easy. <laughs> if you want to, you can do a little bit of colour because it's they're such tightly packed bristles that they don't really bend. Mm. So you can paint on a little bit of the colour Okay, so keep your eye flat sort of thing. And oh, I see. see where it is? That way you can line up where it needs to go and then come in. Straight ahead, that's it. And down. And then you join it in. Just gonna fill in that little. So I'm just gonna use that in that inner corner. Look how cute that little wing is. It looks so cool. My god, I look like a Gen Z. Pop up, sis. Is that what they, is that what the youth say? Pop up, sis! Yes! Slay, hunty. Do you know what hunty means? Mm, it sounds bad. It does. It's a mixture between honey and another word. It's giving, she only wears pink. It's giving, pink is my personality. It's giving, I identify as pink. I identify as pink. Little mascara. I just danced in like she's never danced before. This is me dancing at a wedding. We're gonna use the smudge liner for brows. Amazing. You already use this. I do. It's so good. I'm gonna use it with a pomade underneath the bottom line of the hairs to create a really nice line. You can come up and just do hair strokes with it, but I love coming along here, under here, and creating a really nice kind of shape under there. And I often choose a brow product, whether it's a pomade, pomade, or a, a powder that's half a shade or a shade lighter than your brow. Unless you want really hardcore brows, if you go a dark brown, like the color of your hair, they're gonna be really heavy on your face, you know? So this is like, this is a light brown. Like you look at that, you've got shape, but it's not dark. Yeah, it looks cool. It's just perfected your natural shape. So if you do have overplucked brows, so a lot of people are overplucked in the arch, you can actually use this just to go like say one millimeter under where your hairs are and it creates an illusion 
of bringing that arch down. Now, the reason I say that, a lot of people think the high arch is always the way to go. So we're bringing down the arch in here and lifting the out top side of the tail. So I'm not putting any product on the bottom of, bottom half of this outer third of the brow. So you're kind of lifting here and pulling down under here and you're getting this straighter kind of fashion brow. And then, like I just always stand back from brows because everybody's brows are uneven. So I'm just gonna bring this one up a little on this side. Yeah, ooh, I love, I love that brush as a brow brush. Yeah, I've been using that as a brow brush this whole time. I had no idea it was a smudging brush. Oh, well, it's a triple threat. What does it say on there? It says, it says it is a smudge liner. Okay, well it was on the brush, so that's on me. You know, it's actually really good if you're doing a red lip on the sides of the lip where you want it straight and super sharp. It's actually great as a lip liner as well. Mm. To use it and just go What can't you do with a makeup brush? That's a trick question. <laughs> you could do anything with this brush, anything. Now this little pink guy, we're gonna use for a lip brush, well, the edge of the lip mm -hmm. to smudge out the shape. Okay. It's like a little domed shape. I love this brush. Sometimes I use this in the crease. Oh yeah, it's great for everything. It's great to put a little highlight on the inner corner. It's great underneath the eye for eyeshadow. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna use a lip crayon. Yes, ma'am. And then we're just gonna smudge the edge. So you don't have that sharp lip liner look. It just is really natural and I prefer that. Softened. I love it too. I'm not going right up to the edge of the lip. I'm going to just go, say one millimeter away, just so we've got somewhere to smudge it to, so you don't end up with it smudged literally all over your face. Because we still want to control the shape of the lip. And then this little guy, you literally... Oh, i got to do it. Sorry. Do it! <laughs> i got to do it! i got to do it. Okay, wait. Yes. It's so pretty. And that's a long-lasting lipstick, which means that little smudge will just stay soft and it's almost like an airbrushed edge to your lip. And I think it makes your lips look fuller. <laughs> She's stealing that. <laughs> stealing. All right, so look at that. You're like a makeup artist already with your Artist Essentials brushes. With those little five, you can do so many looks. Now you can do even double as many looks. <laughs> It wasn't as subtle as I thought. Okay, but not the thing subtle. is, right? You are not subtle. These are really good brushes. They are. So I'm just gonna just take your time. 